Do you know how to say Happy Easter in Espanol? Have you got any idea of the kind of activities and food that is eaten in the Spanish-speaking world around Easter time? No? Well, in this video, you're going to learn just that. Listo? Vamos! Okay, so I've been lucky enough to spend Easter in many Spanish-speaking countries. Spain, Venezuela, Colombia, Peru, Ecuador, Argentina. And the first thing that you notice is that um, Easter isn't just celebrated on the Sunday, the Easter Sunday. It's a whole week leading up to the celebration and the whole week is called Semana Santa. And it's a week of processiones, desfiles, preparativos. And it starts on uh, the Sunday before Easter Sunday, Domingo de Ramos. And in Guatemala, the, the preparaciones are really quite exciting because Guatemala has a unique way of celebrating Semana Santa and they prepare what are called lo, las alfombras de acerín. Alfombras de acerín. And the streets of Guatemala are filled with these beautiful, um, colourful carpets that are made of coloured um, sawdust. <laughs> it's quite incredible. Instead of celebrating, instead of having the, the Monday off, like we have in the UK, the bank holiday Monday, in the Spanish-speaking world, it's the Thursday, Friday. Thursday, Friday, Sunday are the main days that Easter is celebrated on. And the Thursday is called Jueves Santo. Jueves Santo. Now, you probably already know that days of the week in Espanol don't have capital letters, except when there are special days. So for in this instance, Jueves Santo, Jueves is with a capital J, yeah? Jueves Santo. So that's Good Thursday. In Spain, the, um, the main cities that celebrate um, Semana Santa, you'll see them there on this map, are Salamanca, Sevilla, Málaga, Murcia and Cuenca. And the main city that celebrates, the, the, has the uh, most fabulous celebrations, is Málaga. And on the streets of Málaga for the whole of Semana Santa, especially Jueves Santo, Viernes Santo, they have very big, important procesiones, which is the reenaction of La Muerte de Jesús Cristo. And the Jueves Santo y Viernes Santo, so Viernes Santo is Good Friday, are quite are very sombre days. So the people generally tend to wear ropa negra. The Sunday, the Easter Sunday, as we know it, it's called Domingo de Pascua. El Domingo de Pascua is different. It has a different feel to el Viernes y el Jueves Santo. El Domingo de Pascua is more of a celebration. Yeah, it's más alegre and people generally are dressed in blanco and it's more of a celebration of la resurrección de Jesús Cristo. Bien. And then of course in the UK we have the bank holiday Monday, but for everybody else in the Spanish speaking world, it's back to normal on the Monday, el lunes. So what about the food? La comida. The main dishes are, on, on el Viernes Santo, much like in the UK, el, el Viernes Santo, which is Good Friday, no se come carne, no se come carne. So you'll eat pescado or una, un plato vegetariano. Generally though, pescado. Yeah, in Argentina, we used to have empanadas de atún. Oh, yeah, riquísimo. <laughs> Bien. There are some desserts that are associated with uh, Semana Santa. So in Spain, Las Torrijas is a very popular one, Las Torrijas, and that's um, a rebanada de pan, yeah, so sliced bread, uh, dipped in um, leche, pasado por huevo, and then fried. And generally you add azúcar and uh, canela. Qué rico, ¿no? 
Another one that is, um, that's very popular is uh, very similar to el roscón de reyes. So el roscón de reyes is known as the king's cake. That's um, a sweet bread that is made around the three kings day, which is, of course, the, the 5th and 6th of January. And el, but instead of being called el roscón de reyes, it's called el roscón de pascua or la rosca de pascua. And it's the same kind of, um, the, the same recipe, the same look and feel, and it's, it's just as delicious. In the UK, we have muchos huevos de pascua. Yeah, muchos huevos de pascua. If you go to the supermercado at the moment, the shelves are full of huevos de pascua. Generalmente de chocolate. It's not such a, 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 um, as big a deal, the huevos de pascua, in the Spanish-speaking world. Probably got to do with uh, the climate. Um, and instead of los huevos de pascua, we have monas de pascua. Not a mono, a mono is a monkey, mona de pascua. <laughs> and a mona de pascua is like a small um, pastel, it's un pastel pequeño. Um, with some decorations on top, the chocolate, and then they, maybe there'll be some um, some huevos de pascua pequeños on the top there. See? So we have uh, las torrijas, we have rosca de pascua, mona de pascua, and of course there are going to be some huevos de pascua. But a wonderful uh, tradition, especially for the little ones, is to make the huevos de pascua um, and you fill them with confetti and, um, and that's just a little game and people tend to hang, hang them from the trees and things like that. Okay, so there we have it. We have El Domingo de Ramos leading up to the whole week. That whole week is Semana Santa, Jueves Santo, Viernes Santo. Then we have El Domingo de Pascua and all of the delicious comida that we share around this time of the year. So when you're learning Espanol or any other language for that matter, it's really important to have some kind of understanding of the different traditions uh, that take place in the, in the countries of the language that you're, that you're learning, just so that you have that little bit more insight. So all that's left for me to say is Felices Pascuas or Feliz Pascua, however you celebrate it, uh, wherever you are, in Argentina, in Inglaterra, in Mexico or wherever. Yeah, have a lovely time and hasta la próxima. Adios.